give you a bit of balance before we go into the interval, and I'll tell you about the best year of my life, it's a bit of sunshine. Uh, 1999, easily best year of my life, for loads of reasons. Uh, went on the best family holiday I've ever been on, for one. I was 14, so I wasn't old enough to decide if I went on the family holiday or not, at 14. I think when I was 16, I got given the choice for the first time. My parents were like, it's up to you this year, James. Do you want to come on the family holiday, yes or no? First chance I got, I threw it right back in their faces. I was like, no, <laughs> bad luck, mum and dad. I'm not coming on a family holiday ever again. Have a fun fortnight with my brother and sister, you absolute losers. And they left. <laughs> Ten minutes after they left, I'm walking around the house, whole place to myself, just like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I'll tell you two things that I love, holidays and my family. <laughs> then an hour later, I was sick, because, full disclosure, I drank too much hot chocolate. As soon as they left, I was off the leash, full on Kevin McAllister, just sculling hot chocolates one after the other. The only time I wasn't drinking a hot chocolate was that two second window where I yelled freedom at the top of my voice. <laughs> and then I'm in the fetal position on my parents' bed, because it's the only place that I feel safe anymore. It's like, actually, now my mum and dad are gone, I appreciate it's pretty wise of them to stagger the hot chocolates the way that they used to. <laughs> Why did I have so many in succession? <sighs> and I put 10 heaped teaspoons in them. <laughs> Oh, it said to put in four heaps of teaspoons, but I put in ten heaps of teaspoons. And I really heaped them as well. Oh, they were so heaped. They were heaped as hell. You gotta heap. You gotta heap. You gotta heat those teaspoons, baby. If you're making a hot chocolate, you better heat those teaspoons. It is very clear about that on the hot chocolate pot. It says it real clear English with diagrams of little spoons in diagonal formation and little pyramids of heaped chocolate powder in each of the teaspoons. Four heaped teaspoons! Can't I just use four normal teaspoons? Absolutely not! Take four of the smallest spoons you own and heap them as high as humanly possible, please. Can't I just use a bigger spoon and do less more manageable spoonfuls? <laughs> Where's the challenge in that? <laughs> Heap them high and no spillage between the pot and the mug every single time. <laughs> just put two dessert spoons in. Just, just, just done. <laughs> every night, that reaction. <laughs> every night of the tour, no matter where I go, suggest putting two dessert spoons of hot chocolate powder in. The audience was like, oh no. <laughs> oh, that'd feel wrong. It's a classic British response. Logically it makes sense, but it'd feel wrong, so British people don't like it. <laughs> it's like if anyone ever makes you a cup of tea in like a clear glass mug. Look, logically, you know that's like any other mug you've ever drank out of. That's absolutely fine. As soon as you lay eyes on it, you're like... <laughs> Sorry, I only like to see the top of the tea where all the scum and the bubbles are. That's my favourite bit. I love looking at that scutty, dirty top of the tea. I love looking at it. I hate it when I get a takeaway tea and they put that lid on it. All, all, all I've got is that little peephole to work with. <laughs> oh, there you are. Mm -hmm, you filthy top of the tea. Oh, I'm gonna drink you first. You can't wait to get into my dirty little mouth, you dirty top of the tea, can you? Look at you. Oh, you know what they say. First in the mouth, first out the dick. Oh, you can't, well, you're rushing to that dick, aren't you? You filthy top of the tea, you can't wait to get to that dick. You're gonna burst out that dick. And land face first in some toilet water, you filthy, dirty top of the tea. You want to just splash in that toilet water and then have all the other piss just shower down on top of you. Oh, I bet you're crossing your fingers. You're part of a piss poo double up, you fucking <laughs> dirty top of the tea. Straight in the mouth, out that dirty dick. Straight in that dirty toilet water and then just shower in the piss and the shit. Oh, baby. You dirty top of the tea, you. So dirty. <laughs> so long, Chrisos. <laughs> Thank you.
Look, I don't enjoy that bit any more than you do. <laughs> it's not my sense of humour. It definitely doesn't suit my persona. It's very, very much not my type of comedy, but if it will nudge a few Baptists out the door, I'll say it. <laughs> Get out of here, you bappies. <laughs> Bloody bappos. <laughs> oh, damn bappos turning up at my gigs. Fucking, so long, bappos.